Hello everyone, it's me Connie. Come on in and let's have a little fun working on my uh, idea journal. Let's do that. So I have an idea. <laughs> I have an idea. On this journal, I have an idea. I've never done this one before, so I'm hoping it turns out good. At least we'll know whether we should do it or not after I'm done with this. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and do it. So, um, what I did was, um, this, the back side is, I think, um, my porch prints, pretty sure. And then this side is from, uh, Genevieve Designs, her, um, photo mat essentials, I'm pretty sure. And then I stamped it with four by six. And you can find these at um, May, May, May May Made It. They're um, designed by Jennifer uh, with Genevieve Designs. They are, um, let's see, Picture Perfect. It's called Picture Perfect. Super, super cool. There's a lot of cool things in here to have when you're wanting to um, add photos to your journals or whatever. So... Um, or if you make her um, photo albums, you've got to have this. So this is a really cool thing to have. And um, um, I don't get any kickback from this or anything. I just want you to know this is really, really cool. So um, uh, it's called Picture Perfect. And it's at May May Made It. Okay. That's where you can find it. Um, so I will link, um, the photo mat essentials down below, and then I'm using the rectangle. Let me, um, whoa, let me, uh, um, they're called rectangle labels, and there's different sizes and stuff like that on different labels. So, um... This is from uh, Jennifer from Genevieve Designs, so I will link that down below as well, just so you can have that too. So, um, as always, I will um, ink this up, ink it up, ink it up, ink it up. Okay. All right, so um, I think I have everything I wanna use um, this prints out like this, and then um, it, rather than cutting them apart, I uh, scored it so it'll make a little booklet like this, okay? And what I think I want to do, because I've watched her um, do things where, you know, she puts half a label on there like this, and uh, like on a, on a picture for, um, for a little bit of a, you know this sort of thing and she just glues right here so the picture can still be put in your frame right well i want to do it a little bit different and um uh not different it's the same concept but i just want to try this i haven't tried this ever so i want to find a page that is kind of flat Whoops. let's see Okay, y'all, it's a little bit chilly here, so um, I've got these sleeves are in my way, but I'm cold, so I don't want to take it off. All right, so here in my idea journal book, okay, this I just tied it in the back to keep it, the strings out of the way, and um, it's done with the elastic so I can add pages or take away or whatever I want to do. Um, so what I think is I want the option in my journals to put photos because sometimes you want to write about something you know um just that kind of cool thing it would be really awesome to do so let me find let's do it right here okay let me get my little dimaflachi here okay Okay, 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 okay. All right, so what I want, I'm thinking, okay? <laughs> I'm thinking 
that I want to glue the whole uh, this side all the way down. I want to glue it all the way down just like that. In my head, this works. Now let's see if the theory will work. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. I'm going to glue this whole thing down. I was going to use this as a little booklet, but I think I'm going to do this. So, well, you know, I haven't been in here. It, today is a Monday that I'm filming this. And I had not been in here through the weekend. So my glue is a little bit like not ready to be used. Okay, so I want to glue, whoopsie, this side down. So I'm going to put a little bit on the corners. You know, we could make it even a little tuck spot. Let's do that. So I'm just gonna glue this, this, and this. Perfect. Great idea, Connie Lynn. Great idea. So we're gonna do that just like that. Did I do it right? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to give that just a little second to glue, to hold down. I'm going to get my little spongy dim, uh, thing downy. Alright, so now um, I want to put this up here so that you can um, title your pictures or whatever. But these uh, come in different sizes, and it's the rectangle labels. I'll print, I will link um, that down there. And the photo mat essentials, I will li link down below. So, um, I am like not working in front of myself. So, if I put this right here, but what I want, I don't want this to do this number, right? So, what I want is to put this on here so that it kind of keeps it closed but what I want it to do is to swing up so you can open it and then swing closed to keep it closed like that what do you think you think it'll work I think it will it should it should work it should work I want it to go further down. What do I want it to be? Is a million dollar question. So if I have this centered and I put this right about right there, that should work, right? <gasps> In theory, I hope it does. Okay, so. And that would be really cute to hold this down. And then it would lift, roll up to open, and then roll down to close. Alright, so what I want to, I think, I think, I think, what I want to do is mark it the corner and the corner so I know about where it's going to go and where I want to put my brad. Okay, but before I glue this down, I want the brad to go underneath this so it's not seen. Okay, all right, so here we go. So I know that with the marks that I want my little picture to be about right there. So I know I'm going to want my brad up here in this corner. So what I'll do is get my little pokey tool and I'm going to line this up. I'm going to line this up. We can always erase that mark in a minute. Although it's not really... Um, that's good enough. So let's just poke a little hole. Right there. Perfect. And then I want to get a brad. What color? Let's get with this um, 
Let's get the brown. Or we could get this pretty um, kind of a gold color. And I'm going to poke it in the hole. If I can pick it up. All right. Poke it in the hole just like that. We're going to poke it in. And then I want the little bright things to stay to the side. There we go, just like that. And then this can roll up and roll down. But I don't want this to move every time. So, what I could do is put a little bitty piece of tape on there. Put a little piece of tape. Just a little piece because I don't want, I don't know how good glue um, actually sticks on this tape. Alright, and then I'm going to tape that down. That'll work. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Did it stick? Okay, so this will go like that. I think that'll be cute. I think that'll be cute. All right, so I am going to put the glue on the label. And then I want to go up. Uh oh. I guess right there. It may not be straight. There. And then this will come up like that. And then you can open your folder and then close it back. Oh, that's cute. You can even just leave it at an angle. That is so stinking cute. I love it. And then you can write on there. So let's erase, excuse the arm. Let's erase the pencil mark. And erase, erase, erase. I'm in love. All right. What do y'all think? What do you think? That way you can have this down and it keeps um, keeps your uh, page closed. And when you want to open it, you just pull this up like that. And voila, you have your pictures. I love it. Did it um, glue down good? Let me put a little extra glue right here. Whoa. Major. Major seepage. Major, major. I'm going to hold that down a little minute. And then I need to do a little more glue right here. It didn't seem to um, grab good. So let's just do a little roll of glue right along there. There we go. Perfect. I'm just going to kind of hold it a little minute and that will keep that closed. You can go down at an angle. I love that. <gasps> Y'all, this is going in a new journal. I haven't done this yet, so I'm so excited. Oh my goodness, this is like the best, the best. All right, so you can write up here, and then you can put this open. So you can uh, put your pictures in there. How pretty is that? 
and then close it. <gasps> Yay! And then, let's see, I have an envelope. Let's see. I know it's going to stick out way too far. That is like way too far, and it's too big. Let's see what else I got in this box over here. Let me see what I have. Oh, she's pretty. She's pretty. Will she fit? Oh, man. I'm going to trim her up. I'm going to trim the length off just a tad. Just a tad, top and bottom. Let's see. Well, let me open this up. I want to see what I'm doing. Oh, I know what I did, but we're going to go ahead and trim it some more. Trim. Trim. And then there we go. There's that way. And we can even do, you know... She's going to get lost in there. I know she will. But what I can do is let me ink it up. You know, because eventually, one day, all these little ideas that I'm putting in this book, I'm going to use this book. So, um, there's that. Okay. Let me ink the back. I'm kind of going off a little bit because I need to um, do something with that. I need a new one. And I have them in the drawer. I have them in the drawer. Okay. So we're going to stick her in there like that. I'm going to leave her hanging out just a little tiny bit. Then I want to get... Um, I don't know if this green... Let's see. How much will that stick out? Quite a bit. But I can trim it. I don't know if the green would look good, but you know we're gonna we're gonna go for it. And I can, and then it will go in there like that. Okay, so I want to trim a little bit from the top and a little bit from the bottom. Tiny bit from the bottom. There we go. There it is. Notes. Notes. That's pretty. And I'll put it behind so I know that there's something else in there. And that's cute. That's cute poking out the side so when it's hanging out the side of the book, that's a little much. Let me just trim a little bit more. Let's just see. Let's just see. That's fine. That's fine for now. I probably will trim just a little tiny bit. Tiny bit. There we go. All right. I could do a, um, I'm going to do that kind of at an angle so I know that there's something in there. There it is. <gasps> That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right. So there it is. What do you think? That is so cute. And we could put some embellishments on here to kind of brighten it up a little bit. That would be so cute, too. I mean, we could even put a little pocket right here with the butterfly. Let's see what we got. Um, yes, we could. Let's see. Let's see how far that would come up. Whoopsie. There we go. That's cute, cute. A little more, um, 
Okay, we're going to put a pocket. We're putting a pocket down on top of there. We're going to have a very interactive. Well, Connie Lynn, this um never happens much. I don't know why it's doing that. All right, so pocket is going down. And we'll put it right on the edge. And we're all butterflies today. There it is. <clears throat> there it is. And I want to trim uh, this so it's not as tall. All right. I can put that down in there like this. And it will not hinder it when I open it and have two pictures and then close it down. What do you think? This thing kept going up and up and up. Y'all, I hope you've seen the whole thing. <laughs> anyway, so that's cute. That is a so cute idea. Love it, love it, love it. What do you think? What do you think? Isn't that pretty? You have your little flip up. You have your photo, you have your pocket, and then you have your hidden pocket underneath. That is just a precious little thing. I'm loving it. Tell me what you think. This was 21 minutes. We're going to do another one real soon. So, um, great idea right here. Great idea. We could do another idea because it's 21 minutes. We could do two ideas at a time. It's all good. We can do that, can't we? We could. We could. We could do another idea. It's 21 minutes. What do you think? Let's do something else. I love this. Love this. Love this. All right. In back here, let's do something else. Let's do something else. Let's just pretend. Okay, so y'all have been watching my uh, video with the doily where I put the um, the tab on it like crazy. It's it's like crazy been getting a lot of attention. So I haven't done it in a while. So I thought, you know what? Let's put it inside this journal and um, go from there. I think that's a great idea. I have this little doily right here. Super cute, right? That is so pretty. So, so pretty. And then I want to put it like this on the page. I really have, um, I have an oval doily and a bigger round doily, but I think they're too big. They're like way too big. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's just see. I have these right here. I will link these down below in my Amazon store for you. Let's just see if it'll work. Let's see if we can't line it up when we fold it in half. I don't think it, both sides are the exact same. Huh. That's strange. I would think they would match up, right? Hmm. I don't guess it matters. All right, so there's that. Let's just see what it looks like. I wonder, that's pretty. And then we can um, put a little tab on it like that. And then this could be um, a tuck you know, or something like, because this is going to be, you know, pretty, um, you know what I mean? So we could do that. Um, and it doesn't have to have the tab on there either, but what I could do is decorate it. Let's see what I got in my little bag here. Let's see what I got in here. I love, love, love. I love these. I may not even put a tab on it. 
I mean, I could. I could still do that. I love that. And then I could do one on the other side. She's so pretty, too. Let's do that. Okay, I got an idea. So, so let's do that. And then, um, like I said, I have tons of the labels. Here's some small labels. Um, don't want, what color? Let's see. What color? Where's the other one? So we might want a little blue for this one maybe, or pink, or purple. Any of those would work. Let's do the purple for her. And then for this one, what do we want? Do we want a little bit of green? Let's do a little bit of green. That would be nice. Okay. Let's do that. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, wait, wait. I have... I have these, um, these tabs. I could do one of these small tabs on there. What do y'all think? Let's think about it. Let's just think about it. I haven't decided if I want to put a tab on there or not. So let's just play with this for a second. Let's just play with this for a second, but first I need to cut the little corners off and hopefully it totally missed my trash. Hopefully this um, comes together. All right, let's do this. Okay, first of all, let's, whoopsie. Whoa, y'all, this is crazy. I am making a mess. I don't even want to see my desk. It is super messy. Okay, so there is that. Okay, now let's ink it up. Let's ink it up. I may not even put a... Um, I may not even put, that's pretty, a tab on there. I may not do that. Simply because, these are so pretty. These I think, think let me think. Uh, Carol Kuntz. Uh, uh, My Porch Prince. Uh, Carol Musings. I'm not sure. Y'all, I've done videos where I've y'all I've showed y'all a list of things that I used. So forgive me if I um, can't recall. You have to forgive me. You have to forgive me. Okay, so I want to glue this down. And the way I'm going to do it, I think, is I'm going to have it in place, okay, where I want it. And I'm going to put a little bead of glue down the side. And then I'll turn the page. Am I in frame? Yes. So we'll just do this. Just a little bit wider so it's it's down good. Okay, and I will fold it over and glue it into place. Very good. And then let's do this side. So am I in frame? I will do the same thing over here. I will put a little bit of glue so it's down. Did I just tear that? 
you'll have to be gentle with this that's the only thing or the these are a little fragile you know so you won't be able to put heavy duty major anything behind it because it's you know it's a little bit fragile so you might want to just put a little piece of paper behind it or something okay so there is that okay so I think um, this is totally um, I don't don't want that but that would be pretty on a page oh goodness gracious look at that get a doily and stick on a page like that and we may have to do that in another video okay so let me get some of this let's see how do I want some of this underneath there like that just to that could be my um, that could be the um, the pool, you know, just leave a little bit out and then stick that right there. That could be pretty. There we go. Just like that. And then that right there. And then leave just a little layer out so that um, we could do, um, yeah, I like that. Let me get my scissors and I'm gonna leave some out. That's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty. All right, let me get my Fabri-Tac. And let's um, make sure it's all glued down. And then I'm going to glue this real good and generous because it will go through the lace and grab a hold on the paper. So there is, whoa, whoopsie. Isn't she pretty? She is so pretty. That's nice. Alright, so let me really smush that down behind the lace. That's good. That way it's down. And then I want to put this little label for some reason. I think that would look cute. I think it would. It would look cute right there. Pretty, pretty. Let's see. Let me, um... Raise it right there, put a little bit of glue, and wipe a little, because there's a little bit of seepage came out of that. All right, love it. That's cute. And then you have a place to put, there we go, something or paper. Let me get, um, let me get one of these and flip it, fold it into threes and a third or whatever, and then slide it under there. <gasps> Look how cute that is. That is so pretty. And then let's do the other side. And you have that beautiful lace poking out. But I want to do the same thing on the opposite side. So I'm going to have to cut this straight. 
Ooh. I will save this. You know it? Just because. Just because it will. Let me put her down. Let me put her where I want her. And then I will cut this lace the same as the other one. Let's glue it down and then I'll cut it. Let's glue it down and then cut it. That would be so pretty. So pretty. Let me put this over there. And then raise that up, poke it down, and then generously put glue on here. Okay, and then stick her down about right there. There we go. Pretty, pretty. And then I want to cut this the same as the other side, possibly. And then um, I will add a little extra glue here and there so it stays good. And then, of course, I'm just going to put that one right there love that let me put a little bit of um, this Fabri-Tac underneath there 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 we go do I need a little bit under here Let's do a little bit under there. Okay. There we go. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. And then I can put this little, um, even right here, or not right there. I like it right there. Put that down. And then put her down right there. Want to glue it shut under there. There we go. There's that. Now I need another piece of paper. I don't want to put any uh, I have the heater on in here, y'all, because I'm cold. Alright, so let's do this. There we go. And then that can go behind there like that. That's pretty. That's pretty. Look. And then let's close it. And we've got some lace coming out. I think I want to trim that up. Let's um, open this up. See where the book is. And I'm going to trim it. There. I think I want to do that. Yes, much better. There it is. There it is. What do you think? I probably y'all probably missed some of that because I was out, out off camera. But look how pretty! And then you turn the page, and the other side you have, and it's not the best um, little tuck, but it is pretty. So you know there is um, 
the best and then there's uh you know because i mean i could um i could have uh and i'm not doing the tuck thing i could have you know matted it underneath to make it a little bit stronger but i didn't want to take away so when you're using it just be mindful of it and um be gentle that's all you got to do it doesn't take five seconds to be a little gentle with it it's so pretty let me put a little bit of glue underneath this right here and that's pretty that way it'll stay down and did I need to do the other side I think I did the other side yeah so let's just let that dry a second all right yay I'm so excited tell me what do you think what do you think do you love it I do I do love it look how pretty isn't she pretty oh do I need a little more glue under there? No, that's fine. That is just so sweet. So, so sweet. All right, y'all. Tell me what you think. I will link these paper doilies down below in my Amazon link. So, there's no extra cost to you whatsoever. It just gives, helps me out. And also, you don't have to buy just scrap, um, craft supplies. You can uh, purchase whatever. Just use my link to get there, and it will help you navigate you to wherever you want to go. And then here's this one with the photo that I'm going to start adding to my journals. <gasps> Look how pretty! And then we have the little side pocket. Oh my goodness, that is so sweet. A lot of interaction right here, and I just absolutely love it. So tell me what you think. I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure and give me a thumbs up. And um, give me a thumbs up and tell me what you think. And we will um, hop over to my Facebook page. It's down below. It's tiny. It's growing, but it's tiny. And tell, show me the projects you're working on. There are a, a question or two, whatever, to, um, and some rules to follow. Um, but it's pretty simple and um, check out my Amazon links and you can make other purchases while you're there and that would help me out as well and it does not raise the cost to you so um, thanks so much the, also I have some um, scripture cards in my Etsy Etsy I have a few other things that were brand new that are you know was new to me when I first started working on it i don't have a lot in there but you can go check it out and that's down below and i will also put genevieve's for the uh, photos and the tags for her so y'all tell me what you think i hope y'all enjoyed today god bless and um give me a thumbs up and be sure and subscribe and share my video it was a lot of fun talk to you real soon bye everyone